Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Here to do your weekend love messages from August 18th through the 21st. All right, so we're going to start off and just see what the overall message is here for you. And if you're new, please do hit subscribe if you enjoy the readings and do keep in mind that these are general love messages. So some may resonate, some may not. Take with fits, leave the rest. And I will be opening up personal readings beginning in September of this year. So just a couple of weeks. Um, that will be at my website, moonpytero.com. And there is a link underneath this video. So you can access that link at my website and you can start booking your readings. All right, I haven't opened it just yet, um, but do go over and check um, just to make sure. All right, so Virgo, let's take a look for your weekend. Obviously, you've got the moon here. So um, you may be getting some, having a lot of dreams, feeling things, messages coming to you in your dreams over this weekend. Um, there's a feeling of vagueness, not really being, not too sure where these dreams are coming from, um, or seeing people in your dreams, but not being sure, or uh, recognizing the faces in your dreams. Um, your subconscious will be speaking to you over the weekend. Um, your fears, things like that that have been suppressed if you've been doing any kind of meditative work or um, releasing energies as of late things will start somewhat appearing over the weekend but mostly in your dreams okay illusions your intuition is going to be very on point as well okay so i feel like that's a very strong message for some of you and um, that i feel is going to be present beginning on the 18th for sure okay um, this is Piscean energy so this is all about the illusion all about things that are in the, the dark the murky waters underneath the depth of feeling and emotion this is also a feeling of having to uh, it's like a battle between your domesticated and your wild side Okay, um, trying to strike a balance between the two. Okay, interesting message that is right there. Um, you're going to, yeah, it just feels like some spiritual downloads. Things are going to start coming to you that will start making sense. And you'll be able to, it, it, I'm just seeing somebody like doing um, um, sculpture type work. And you know, when you start sculpting something out, it, it, it takes a while. It, it's kind of like carving away all the unnecessary pieces of your sculpture to reveal. Um, there's revelation, things coming up to reveal the true, the true meaning behind things. You, you're going to have some, you know, oh, this makes sense. This is beginning to make sense. Emotions and feelings. Okay. Which is good. It's, it feels like enlightenment for you. All right, let's see what else is going on here. So this is going to be a love reading. I feel like that's an overall message, but let's get into the rest and see what else is coming up here for you. Okay, wow. Okay, we have Leo energy. I'm definitely feeling a strong energy about pets or animals or animalistic nature. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see. Uh, strength. This gives me a sense here of um, taming the wild beast within you. <laughs> there's a there's a caged animal within you, Virgo, that is needing is trying to come out. That that's what I feel like is going on here. It's trying to come out. Um, someone might be in an area code eight one eight. There's this wild beast that's trying to be released. And um, you're trying to tame it. <laughs> and I feel like, you know, they're giving me like two faces of a moon here. So I don't know if we're talking about some Gemini energy, but I get a sense that you are at battle with something or someone as a battle with something going on in their life here. Two people 
things are beginning to make sense over the weekend for two people. Okay, somebody was born January, uh, birthday in January, um, or September 8th, I'm feeling, or there's a birthday on the 8th. Okay, now we have the Ace of Cups. All right, here we go. This is what's going on. Somebody's coming to terms with how they feel deep, deep with inside. They have this wild, this wild side to them. And it feels like two people gaining the strength and the courage. Oh, it's an aha moment. Um, it feels like this person or someone or you or both people are coming to terms with overcoming insecurity because all of these hidden things do you know it's kind of like when we do a deep dive into the soul um, to try to connect with how we truly feel like in the subconscious not how we play things out in everyday life I feel like there's this is just an energetic thing that's happening over the weekend with when it comes to love where there's a recognizing of and it feels like wow uh, someone is saying, wow, I'm really in love with this person. It's not just a fling. It's not just a fleeting thing. And if you're in absence with someone, there is this energy of this love is getting stronger. These emotions and these feelings are coming up even stronger. Um, there was a lot of fear and anxiety attached to uh, somebody was suppressing their emotions um, due to fear and anxiety. But with this Ace of Cups showing up here, the, oh my goodness, this feels like um, somebody's coming to terms, like the, the gift of love is, is being revealed here. Now maybe you're feeling it. You might be coming to terms with how you feel about someone. And for some of you, it could just be how you're feeling about yourself. Like, I really do love myself. Like, I'm worth it. I'm, I'm, I really am a valuable person. I am a worthy, uh, I am worthy of love. So this can go a lot of different directions. Okay. Somebody's birthday might be, um, okay, wait, they just said, um, somebody, not birth date, birth year, 1988. Okay. That might be significant. So we're also taking a look here at um, Cancer and Scorpio energy. All right, let me see what else. There's there's a, a love opportunity that's um, being presented over the weekend. And this feels, this, this, so I, like, I feel like it's, it, it feels like an aha moment, but it's, it's, it's more or less this person or somebody already knows how they feel, but they've been suppressing their emotions due to fear and anxiety, but this inner strength, this bravery, I feel like someone um, taming the wild side of them. They might have been, um, or you, or somebody was wild in the sense where they might have been very impulsive when it comes to love, um, taming this aspect of themselves. Um, you could have been connected with someone who was wild at heart, kind of like um, a knight of wands energy with someone who's very impulsive and followed their their passions and you know wherever the spark was that's the direction that they went and if it feels more like taming that wild side and coming into balance um somebody's from new york uh coming into balance Taming the, the between the wild side and the domesticated side. I feel like I keep repeating myself. So uh, let me see here. What else is going on? I feel like someone is very happy here. Is feeling um, overcoming some self-doubt. Okay. Gaining some self-confidence. And very happy and joyful that um, they're coming to terms with the fact that they truly do love another person and whether that's you or you know you feeling that way about someone or someone else feeling that way this is all this energetic shift that's happening over this weekend here let me see what else is going on here okay so here we have aries here Let's see emperor oh this is gaining stability structure Wow, some very focused, two very focused energies here. <clears throat> Somebody's ready to take on responsibility. 
take responsibility of self. Okay, this could be an older male um, becoming stable, becoming dependable. Somebody's, they're just telling me, tell Virgo, somebody is growing up <laughs> and no longer um, running away from emotions or suppressing or hiding, coming to terms with how they really feel and taking on this emperor energy you know, um, authoritative, being more structured or, or gaining structurehood, ready to be a father or to act like, um, you know, uh, either to have a, have a child for the first time, um, taking up that responsibility as a parent, male or female. Um, also emanating a father figure wants somebody wants to be more like their father but like in the positive aspects of a father figure okay so there's there is uh, there's a wake-up call happening here for somebody and maybe it's you another person but there's change here's the wheel of fortune absolute change happening here capricorn energy destiny a decisive moment wow okay so it feels to me like over this weekend there's um somebody's taking a chance here fate i just heard they gave me the phrase two of a kind two of a kind okay and that so i feel like what that message is that this is two people you and somebody else going through a shift now maybe you don't know this person for some of you you know there's this old saying where if you haven't met your person yet, it's because they're being prepared just as you are. Um, and I feel like this is what's happening for those of you, even if you know this person or you don't, two people, you might be going through this as well. And, and both of you are being prepared for union going forward. Okay. Um, does that mean you're going to connect over the weekend? I'm not really sure. I feel like this is going to, well, and we'll see, but I feel like there's this opportunity to uh, things are being revealed that moon card makes me feel like when you know when you're laying in your bed at night and the moon's shining through your window and you see the light is kind of shining on the objects in the room and they're kind of mystifying in a lot of ways you know it's almost like the moon is revealing your secrets and the secrets are the secrets in the soul and the secrets of the heart of somebody's emotions and outpouring and overflowing of love and feeling and emotion towards you and i feel like this person is it's being revealed to them ever so slightly that they tr that somebody here truly does have these deep feelings for you and and for some it's an aries for some it's a leo for others it's a pisces most specifically okay for someone else it's a capricorn all right um and for others cancer or a scorpio but let's see what else is going on here okay look at this wow interesting <clears throat> virgo energy commitment dedication concentration patience this change that's coming about here where this person is ready to take on the responsibility of a relationship to be someone who is reliable disciplined practical dependable structured protective this is all because of a great love, okay? This is all because there's an inspiration from love. And I feel like, is this, is this someone that you, that, is this someone that you already know, Virgo? Let me just see here. Okay. 
This is someone, I will tell you this, this is someone that, who's been quiet. Okay, this is someone that who's been at rest. This is someone who's in a healing type of a situation. This is someone who's been in solitude. Okay. Who's been in uh, withdrawal. This is someone that you can't see. Okay. So they're not really <laughs> telling me if if this if this is someone that you know or not, but based on those descriptions, maybe that is, maybe it's not. Let's take a look here. Libra and energy they're giving me. Um, so I'm also hearing September 21st. Okay. feel like during this person's time of rest and withdrawal this is where all this energy is happening and a lot of their emotions and feelings um, are showing up through their dreams as well maybe they're dreaming about you for some they see your face in the moon somebody here might have a virgo moon But this is, as I was saying in the beginning, waking up from these dreams or having these like subconscious uh, revelations coming up to light. Somebody here coming to terms with their true feelings for you that, that have been buried, okay? It, all right, Aquarian, Aquarius. Oh boy, there's a new beginning here. This spontaneity happening. I feel like... They're showing me someone turning the ignition in a car, sitting in a car and turning the ignition, starting the car up and now going. It's almost as if it's, um, it's a spark here. You know, when you turn that ignition or I don't know if you have an electric car or whatever, there's always a spark somehow. And that spark is setting off a chain of events here. This is what I feel like is happening. Um, and it's coming by way of a dream or um, the dark of the night or in someone's time of separation or solitude that they're ready for love they're ready to to take this chance take this risk okay um, and it's very spontaneous remember I was saying impulsivity I'm breaking free here Gemini energy from these chains these restrictions that's what I feel like um, somebody here was has been in isolation coming out of isolation all right so these are very ethereal messages that I'm picking up here and let's see if we can get something a little more along the lines of like the everyday the everyday the everyday weekend kind of stuff I, I, if I were to give this a caption, just this portion here, I would say that somebody is coming to terms with how they really feel about you and are freeing themselves to take the steps to be what you need them to be. And I feel that you are also going through this change as well. Okay over the weekend so there's there's going to be this energetic aha kind of thing you know like wow i really do love someone um and someone else feeling that way as well this is a recognition of this love this is with the ace of cups this is like a blessing and this is renewal all right so we have merchant merchant okay <clears throat> So we're going to shift over into a very kind of an everyday thing. A lot of shopping going on over the weekend. You might be shopping or somebody's shopping. Um, maybe shopping for gifts or home goods. 
Okay. Or opening up a store or selling. You might be selling something over this weekend. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. We have an enemy, but it did show up in the reverse. So I feel like This message here is keep an eye on keep an eye on your your money over this weekend. Be careful of <laughs> this is very very specific. Be careful of people who are claiming to be friends but are not really friends. I feel like um, keep an eye on your your collectibles. I'm hearing. Um, or if you're selling things, keep a sharp eye out for theft or something along those lines. I'm not saying somebody's going to steal from you. I'm not predicting that or take something from your home. Um, or if you're out shopping, be careful that you don't get the word I want to say is uh, conned <laughs> with off label that look like real label products. Okay. Yep. Here's a thief card. Um, and you've got thought. I feel like that's a very strong message. Be careful that somebody doesn't come in and try to sell you something um, and they act like your friend <laughs> or they try to be buddy buddies with you um, because I feel like this is a well thought out thing. Um, you know, somebody's going to try and sell you a piece of land somewhere that they don't even own. Just be very careful with contracts or things that you're going to buy or people who are selling things over this weekend. Okay, that you don't get conned or gypped or manipulated into purchasing something. Think first. Um, use your discernment when you are signing any papers or getting in any contracts or purchasing or selling. Uh, that's a very strong message. Okay, and that may not resonate for all of you, but this just feels mostly like the day-to-day -day kind of stuff. Okay. All right. Interesting. You have young woman in the reverse. Okay, let's see what's going on here. So this is... You're going you're gonna to meet a female over this weekend. Um, she looks a lot older than she is. Okay. She looks a lot older than she is. You're going to be kind of surprised when... Um, she, she tells you that she's, you know, um, a lot younger than you, but she looks like she would be your age. Okay. It's going to be a shocker <laughs> a little bit. And it's kind of sad. Um, <laughs> or she may seem a lot older than she is. She's much younger than you though. All right. Let me see. Why is she here? Okay. Huh. Yeah. Wow. So falseness. Okay. Um, she's, is she pretending? Okay. No, she's not. Something's very strange about this woman that you're going to meet. Okay. So she's not haughty. Haughtiness is in the reverse here, but falseness is here. I feel like um, you're going to feel like you're tricked, but I don't feel like she's intentionally trying to be like a trickster. She's not haughty. She's not a braggart. I feel like she's going to tell you that she's older when you meet her. I don't know why somebody would do this. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Wife in reverse. Um, she's going to tell you that she's not married. But she is. It's very strange energy. Um, some of you might even know already who I'm talking about here. Oh, she's going to tell you that she's... Um, 
had some misfortune or some problems. She, I don't, I, I, I don't know why, and I'm not going to dive into why. I just want you to keep your eye out for this woman over the weekend. Um, I, I'm not. I'll, I'll ask one more, t one more time, why she is doing this. Okay, she's looking for attention. She's looking for attention. Um, she's looking for a friend. She's, she's very sad about something, but she's kind of pretending a lot of things. Um, but she's trying to find ways to connect with you, or she'll try to find a way to connect with you. Um, she's really, really looking for a friend. And so she's, but she's way younger than you. Whereas normally you would not be friends because she's so much younger than you, or you would even connect with her. Um, she's trying to make herself seem like she's a lot older. Uh, it's a very weird message, and I'm just going to leave that there. I don't know how that's going to play out. I, I don't see really anything negative with this person. I just feel like... Um, just be mindful when she comes your way. I'm not telling you not to be friendly with her. I'm not telling you not to be. Um, just be mindful about what's going on or why she's kind of hiding stuff. She's very sad about something. That's all I can say. <laughs> okay, so you've got someone faithful showing up here over the weekend. Ooh, devil in reverse. Death in reverse, I'm sorry. Okay, so this is a strong message that... <clears throat> something's not over here. Something is not ending. Um, somebody's coming in here and, and showing themselves to be very faithful to you over this weekend. Okay, it could be your dog. <laughs> could be your dog. I don't know why. Um, your dog could be ill, so pay attention. If your dog is ill or is suffering, maybe hurt his leg or something, if you have a dog. Um, there's a message here about like somebody showing up here or be presenting themselves that even when they're at their worst, they're still going to be faithful to you. That's the message that I'm hearing. No matter how much suffering... Uh, you feel how much suffering this person feels, how much suffering there is in a connection. This person remains faithful, will remain faithful, and they're going to show themselves this way over this weekend. Yeah, this person's coming in with, they have so much hope for a connection. It might be this person here that we were talking about who's having this wake-up call or this ready for love kind of energy, ready, ready, like an aha moment. Okay, yeah, this person's waiting. They will wait. They will wait. They will wait. They're very faithful to you. Uh, they might have been born in the year of the dog for some, but this person extremely, like, they're waiting. They, will, like a dog, waits at the bus stop for the kid to get home, or your dog waits there in the house for you, um, and they wait in suffering, just just waiting and hoping and hoping that you're going to come back or hoping that, it's, you know, you're going to walk through that door. This person is not going anywhere it could be them it could be somebody new uh, uh you'll find out over the weekend of course okay mm, child this person wants to have a child they or they have a child they're waiting for you and your child to come home if you have a child or they or a child together um this person is waiting to hear from you um, because they can't get out over the weekend because they're home with a child or they're babysitting or maybe it's a grandchild. And they're also in a position of like wanting to have children and they're hopeful. Maybe it's you staying hopeful and waiting for the right time for that to happen. Okay. But it feels more along the lines, oh, there's a reunion here. Okay, reunion. Yeah, you're you're going to be reuniting with someone over the weekend, that's for sure. This person is waiting for that reunion. Say the word, okay? The, it's very strong. I just feel like whoever they are, like this person is, <laughs> they're so devoted to you, like, an, like, a, like a dog. <laughs> Maybe you put them in the doghouse for a guy. I don't know what you're doing. This person is so crazy devoted. They're, they're suffering in silence, but they're not they want to like they're just not giving up on you my goodness waiting like a child for you to come home 
or for you, for you guys to connect. They're, they're not seeking anything or anyone else, anything else outside of a connection. Uh, they're just waiting for your return and, and they're just sitting by the door there. <laughs> they're sitting. I see somebody sitting. They're sitting somewhere looking at a computer or, or a laptop or of some sort, looking at their phone, waiting for the phone to ring. Waiting, waiting, waiting. This is crazy. Um, okay, let me just give you a couple other messages here. I think I can do a couple other messages here for the weekend. Yeah, so from the 18th through the 21st, very soon, decision being made here. Okay, over this weekend for sure. A decision is being made. And that's what I said. Um, two people are making a decision about coming together based on the emotions, based on the revelation of how they truly feel about each other. Like this love, this and this, this opportunity. Here's children again. My goodness, for some, this is about having a child. For some. And for some of you, this is, your love life is being affected by your childlike ways how you are with each other okay but this is also going from an immaturity in a relationship to coming in being seasoned and coming into this connection in a completely different way i feel like there was a relationship that needed a lot of uh, marinating <laughs> and tender tenderizing for um you know, two people to be able to come together in a completely different dynamic. There might have been a lot of immaturity or um, childish behaviors and past relationships in the past. And, and this is like, like a lot of growth. I feel like a lot of growth in it. And, and the growth, though, is, is stemming from the realization or the, the revelation of this love or these feelings that somebody has here this is a past life relationship you've known each other before that's kind of what i feel here that this is a connection with someone that has gone through many different levels and phases and cycles of a relationship okay oh see there's your sign you hear that hold on see what else yeah this is a past life connection where there's a lot of changes and i feel like this is the same past life connection and this doesn't have to be that rotten exit you don't this doesn't have to be this person this could be somebody from a very very long time ago or you know uh, even when you were a child uh, or something where two people have let let go of each other and moved on with their lives never saw each other again and coming into union which is that's the most romantic love story ever for you guys. So I'm not exactly sure to what degree. Let me see if I can find out. Let's see if we can get a little more information on who this person is. A little more specific. Some of you already know, like I said, I gave you the signs. Oh, there's the moon again. Oh my goodness. I swear the, the reading is ending the way it began. Okay, for some, definitely Pisces. I feel like yesterday a lot of Pisces. Um, oh, they're telling me this is a secret. They're not revealing the secret who this person is going to be. You will know. They're going to show up. I tried to give you some hints, but um, this is definitely someone who doesn't reveal their emotions. They keep everything hidden. Everything hidden within feels like water energy okay all right there's your first court card queen of swords okay so we have air all right for those of you who need to know on that need to know basis and they could have air anywhere in their chart um this person will communicate more the everyday things but the emotions are hidden okay but these emotions I really feel like this person, these feelings that they have deep inside that they've, they've been suppressing and they've been keeping down are beginning to bubble up and to come up during this time, during these dreams. Uh, I feel like somebody here is dreaming about you and, and this dream, these dreams 
are <clears throat> being released. The subconscious is releasing these dreams to this person and they're able to remember these dreams and you're in them and you are there. They're seeing your face, but they can't quite make out that it's your face, but they intuitively know that this is you. And these are dreams of deep feelings and emotions. These are dreams of the Ten of Pentacles. This person's thinking about, you know, the, the full on happily ever after security uh, safety trust this family this being together this living in a home together I mean it's it's just like security it, it, this they, they they're dreaming of you in where they are there's also a lot of travel in these dreams and it's so weird this 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 reading is taking on its own energy there's a lot of travel in these dreams as well um, and this person um, they see themselves rowing this boat that they're in out of a very tumultuous emotional situation into more calmer waters which is towards you right so they're they're trying to get home this is what they're dreaming you are at their plate you are at their home wherever their home is and they're they're trying to get back there this is what they're dreaming of okay that's what I'm trying to explain look there's the fool again a lot of travel freeing themselves they're trying to free themselves and and for some also they're also traveling away from family to get towards you because why why because you oh gosh no it's this is like coming after you that's they're chasing you in their dream because their love these feelings because you're free you, you in in the dream you're gone and they're 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 getting away from their secure comfort zone and coming towards you in this dream looking for you chasing after you looking to find where you are and they they, they look at you and they see you and you're just ah, you're out you're gone you're traveling you're free you freed yourself that's how they view it that's what they're seeing in this dream and they're trying to come after you here this is such a weird reading I've never given a reading like this before, ever. Four of Wands here, see? Four-poster bed, they just told me. Somebody has a four-poster bed? <sighs> Made love in a four-poster bed. Or in a very, um, okay, now, a, a wood log cabin kind of a bed, maybe? Or <laughs> log cabin, log, logs, logs, wood, a wood bed made love at Christmas I'm hearing um, oh they're giving me they're giving me um, they're giving me made love outside as well <laughs> maybe you're in a log cabin <laughs> or out, out somewhere in um, in the woods or um, where there was a lot of trees <laughs> where that's where trees would be in the woods <laughs> two of pentacles on a boat Okay, now I don't know if this actually happened or if this is what they're dreaming. Oh my goodness. I'm going to end this reading because it just keeps going on and on. Um, you guys might have like, there might have been like this, oh gosh, stealing away. Are they having these fantasy type dreams about you, with you, being with you? They're coming after you. They're trying to get to you in these dreams. I'm telling you, this person wakes up somebody wakes up them you somebody wakes up over the weekend and it's like oh my goodness the dream is so real the dream is so real that this person falls in love all over again or is looking for you maybe you don't know them they can't see your face look at these two silhouettes Okay, maybe you don't know them. They can't make out your face, but they know they're dreaming of you and they find you. They're coming to look for you. This other person is coming to look for you. <laughs> the Nine of Swords. For some, they're having nightmares. For some, it's nightmares. Why? 
Oh my goodness, with the world. Someone's name is Christian or Christina. <clears throat> because he can't find you. Where are you? You're not there. You're not there. And and that's that's it's not so much the, the emotions, the depth of the feelings that they're that are being revealed to them about you, but more so the fact that you're you're not there. And that is what is prompting all of this energy over this weekend. It's so matrixy because it's like you they they so they wake up and they remember the dream and then the, it's so real to them. But yet You're not there. Where are you? And so they're looking for you. They're looking for you. This is prompting this person. Are they going to reach out over this weekend to Virgo? King of Swords. Oh, five of Cups. Knight of Cups. Yeah, there's going to be some communication. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. There's going to be communication. You see that hawk? Yep, it's going to deliver a message. I miss you. Where are you? I love you. Um, now that's if you know this person. For some, you could get a message from an unknown person, and, and this is who we're talking about. Um, this five of cups energy, this like sadness I'm feeling because you're not there. You're so real to me. You're so real to me. This person may have seen you somewhere. If you don't know them, and, uh, you're out in the public eye somehow, some way, and they've seen you and you're so real to them and, and this love offer there's a love offer that comes in definitely your admiration uh, their cup offering their cup their emotion to you over this weekend you're going to get something for sure uh, definitely communication you're going to get a message <laughs> for some of you um as soon as I, I'm hearing, as soon as I put down these, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to build us a log cabin bed so we can make love. No, as soon as I put down, um, okay, they just gave me the name Frederick, Fred, Frederick, Frederico, Fred, Frederica. As soon as I put down um, this heavy load, I'm on my way. Okay, I don't know what that means. As soon as I finish this, this laborious task, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Okay. <clears throat> there you go. Ten cups. Happily ever after. Very spiritual reading. I hope you have a great weekend, Virgo.